Hey, it's Jaime Oteco Real Estate Advisors. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. So let's talk about Facebook. A lot of the content that you see in this channel revolves around social media, specifically Facebook, and a good amount of Google advertising. So those would be those I would consider my specialties, Facebook advertising and Google advertising, so much so that I help other agents in their advertising. So that is a bulk of what I do, but I also am a full-time realtor as well. So I get to divvy up the roles. And as I was talking to several of my clients, several several agents, we were talking strategies, we were talking how are we going to grow our business, how are we going to increase our network in 2019. And one of the, I would say, not one, I would say the number one focus for all of the agents was Facebook. They knew that it was important this past year, I guess, so 2018 and the year before that, but didn't necessarily do too much. They would create the business page and then every once in a while, every once in a while put some content up there, whether that be a picture of them closing on a home or putting an interesting article out there that was released by the local media. Whatever the case may be, that was their definition of being involved in Facebook. So, as you know, in this channel, we get practical very quickly. So, beyond just telling you, hey, be more active on Facebook, I wanted to provide you the actual blueprint on how to achieve that. So, the number one resource that you're probably underutilized right, underutilizing right now is Facebook groups. So, let's just write it down. So Facebook groups are heavily underutilized right now. Now, people will look on Facebook groups and uh, most likely you already are a member of a few groups and those are generally your buy and sell groups, your garage groups. That's what we know as groups. But there's a way for you as a professional to increase your network, your knowledge, and your just abilities through the professional Facebook groups and also how to get actual leads through your what I call your B2C groups so essentially is your business to consumers or clients that type of group so we're gonna divvy it up into two we're gonna go into the B2B space and we're gonna, we're gonna talk about joining those groups and then we're gonna talk about the B2C Facebook groups on your B2B Facebook groups, what we're looking at is going into industry-specific business groups that help you as an agent. So a lot of the viewers here are real estate agents or mortgage professionals and have something to do with real estate. So that's who I'm going to address at, the, at this time. So joining these groups is super valuable to you not only for the knowledge that you're going to gain through other people's experiences and to present your own um, either opinions or present your own scenarios and then have people collaborate with you to solve those. So not only do you get help and just additional resources to draw upon from these business groups and from these Facebook groups, but you also get the opportunity at referrals. So right now I'm in over... Right before I shot this video, I counted, I'm in over 80 Facebook groups specific to B2B, so real estate agent related, and there are a ton out there. There's mega groups like um, Lab Code Agents has almost 100,000 members at this time. There's some other groups out there that have 40,000 agents, 30,000 agents, quite a few groups that have 30,000 agents, 20,000 20,000 agents and such. So go on and join as many Facebook groups as possible and then start weaning yourself off of them so so you don't have your notification, uh, you, you don't have all your notifications just blow up your phone. Also, one quick, quick note, when you're out there joining these Facebook groups, 
don't join 100 at a time. Don't join 50 at a time or 20 at a time. Join in moderation. Join four at a time, five at a time. Just, mo just be moderate with your request to join these groups because Facebook will flag you and they will temporarily suspend you, i.e. put you in Facebook jail to where you can't do much, if anything. So when you're joining out, joining these groups, join them in moderation, and then you're going to start seeing which groups are a little bit more of your style, which are a little bit more helpful in what you're trying to achieve. If you, there's some groups out there that are very referral based, meaning there's a lot of agents that go on there just to share referrals. There's some groups out there that are specifically for open houses in the area. So if you ever need an open house to either host or have somebody host, that's where you can go and get some agents to dialogue with you to see if you host or if they can host your open house. So there's a lot of that networking, a lot of opportunities to grow your business, grow your skill set, and just grow as a professional and that's what we're talking about with b2b so lab code agents I would certainly recommend that's that's one of them there's um, real estate agent rock stars there's real estate agents that really work there's new real estate agents there's real estate agents referrals and there's just so many out there so when you're going on Facebook just log in and on the search bar look for real estate agent groups and also some sales professionals groups where they talk strategy where they do live sessions like q and a's and things of that nature to grow as a professional grow in your craft and just grow from that perspective but then also there's a lot of benefits for facebook groups into in the b to c space so the b to c again is more for your business to consumer or business to client where we're talking garage sale groups. We're talking buy and sell groups. And we, we're talking about investor groups. These groups, although they're a bit more broad, they're not always related to real estate, there's a lot of opportunities where people are asking for recommendations, where people are asking for where people ask real estate related questions and they need a professional to help. And if you can contribute to these types of groups that are either specific about certain topics, whether that be buy and sell groups or the garage groups or investor groups or very niche type groups where you can contribute with general, general knowledge, general information that helps the group, you got you got to be careful with these though where you're not on there breaking any rules or any any things that they that will get you banned there's some self promo uh stipulations i would well stipulations as much but there's some rules against self promo in many of these groups and you can't go on there hey i'm a real estate agent use me to buy or sell you're probably going to get banned in the majority of the groups but some groups actually allow that. So be sure that you read the rules that they've set. People are very protective, especially when they get into the 30, 50,000, 80,000 range with these groups because they're massive. So when you're joining these groups, go out go out there and post things that are things that are general enough to where they don't raise any flags that'll get you banned or go on there and there's some real estate groups that you can go and post your your properties that you want to sell along with your marketplace. Uh, along with po posting it on Facebook Marketplace, you can post it on Facebook groups and have exposure to additional to an, an additional audience. You're going to get direct messages from that. You're going to get comments on your uh, property from that, and it's going to help you grow in that respect. So. Don't be shy about using Facebook groups. They are very under, I would say they're undervalued at this point. This and Facebook Marketplace, this is, these are two prime platforms that you can use to leverage free organic traffic that you didn't build yourself and you can just leverage it. Now, before we 
before we end the video, I wanted to challenge you to level up. And what I mean by that is there's nothing saying that you can't actually go out and create these groups. Right now, notice that we're talking about joining the groups, joining the groups that are already launched, joining the groups that are already successful. There's nothing stopping you from actually creating the groups. And that's something I want to challenge you to do this year and actually create your own group and create it around a niche that you have knowledge in, whether if you're wanting to create a group for first time home buyers and just invite people. This isn't your business page, it's different than your business page. So your business page is one that has that little flag and then the groups is it, the icon of multiple people, multiple silhouettes in the, in the icon section. So these are different the business page and your group. So we're talking about business groups. You may have your business page already, but what I'm telling you is to create an actual community group. I think I called it business groups. That's not correct. So it's community groups where you can actually create a group and you become the administrator and provide a platform, provide a community for people to share ideas if, they, if it comes to home buying or home selling or investors or a niche that you want to control. When you're out there joining some of these groups, you're going to see the admin. Actually, you're gonna, when you're going out and joining these groups, all of them are going to show you their admin. So you get to see the people that actually created these groups. And surprise, surprise, you're going to notice a pattern that a lot of these huge mega Facebook groups are actually either uh, administered or admined, essentially the originators, the creators, or moderated by real estate professionals, either in the mortgage industry or the or real estate agents, um, inspectors. So a lot of the real estate professionals have actually started the groups that may not have anything to do with real estate, but they have these groups that they started and that they're huge. So you may not be first to the game, but you certainly at least want to get into the game. If you, if you don't want to go through the stress or the struggle of creating your own group, which is what I would suggest if you really want to level up and leverage as much as you can from a Facebook group and actually launching your own, at the bare minimum, join as many as you can on the B2B, so essentially your real estate peers, your real estate professional peers, and join as many as you can from a B2C standpoint and get some leads in that respect. There's a strategy for both. There's other videos in this channel that specifically speak into every single one of these and test posts. Well, they're beyond test posts. They're actually proven posts at this point. They have posts, um, examples of posts that work in each setting. So there's a way to leverage your B2B Facebook groups where you get referrals, where you become the person in the neighborhood that people gravitate towards if they're referring somebody from California to Texas or vice versa or whatever the case may be. And then there's a way to do it on the B2C side where you can leverage, leverage your network and leverage your presence in these groups as well. But again, I want to challenge you to create your own Facebook group and revolve it around something that you know or something that you're, uh, you have some understanding about and really just build on these groups to where ultimately you can drive traffic and you can drive eyeballs to a message that you promote. Because at that point, you're not at the mercy or you're not having to follow somebody else's guidelines because you're actually the person that has the, the finger on the button to where you can ban people, you can you have the control, and you're certainly not going to ban yourself, so you can promote however you wish. So outside of that, this year, again, I challenge you, get into Facebook groups, figure, figure out how you can incorporate it into your business because you're going to see organic business from these groups like no other. It's heavily underused right now, so go out there and capture it. Outside of that, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.